Hi guys and welcome to your daily tarot reading for Wednesday the 28th of September 2022. I want to use the animal tarot cards for today's reading. Let's see what these cards have to say about Wednesday and what energy you'll be working with. These cards, as you can see, have text on them. So with this deck, I don't use reversals. I only use the cards upright. Because when you're um, turning the cards around, often it means the opposite of that card. And when you have this much writing there, it's a little bit difficult to find out what the opposite of all of that is. So let's see what the cards have to say then about Wednesday and what this day looks like. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, so I'm going to choose my three cards. First one is in here. We've got the Three of Summer. So we've got the Three of Cups. We've got some hummingbirds playing. Then we have the Three of Autumn, which is the Three of Pentacles. And finally, we have the Eight of Winter, which is the Eight of Swords. Okay, interesting. We have a mix here between three different elements. We've got summer, which is water. That has to do with love, connection, and friendship. Then we have the three of pentacles, which is earth. Pentacles has to do with work. And the three of pentacles in particular is expertise and being able to get a lot done. So that to me says teamwork is supported. And then finally, we have the eight of winter, the eight of swords. And that's usually someone who's... who's um, been bound with some rope and who's blindfolded standing in the middle of nowhere and there are eight swords around that person keeping them stuck and confused so there's the potential for i feel um a lot of good work to be done by yourself and with other people but i also think there's the potential for a major misunderstanding on this day that if you do have contact with other people when things can start off like this Everyone's flying around and having a good time. Once you do the work, you've discovered differences about the other person that separates you from them or creates more distance between you and them. And we've got an, a cage that appears. So something happens where two or three of the people kind of make a decision against the other person and they start to intervene and make decisions like, oh, well, maybe we should... Um, invite our other friend to the park instead, instead of having this person around. Or maybe this person says things which are dangerous and inflammatory. Maybe we should kind of um, keep them at bay a little bit and not include them in the group activities in order to protect the other friendships. So that's kind of interesting because I feel that um, friendship then is a little bit threatened here. And swords has to do with communication and ideas. So the fact that this is a genuine conflict or someone is being ostracized for a genuine reason, I think it's going to be trivial and much more likely to be erroneous. So if there is conflict between um, you and your friends and someone's got the wrong end of the stick or um, something is being said which isn't true at all, turned into a rumor and now you're being confronted with it, it's difficult to say this because no one likes that kind of experience. But I feel that rather than getting upset and saying, how dare you put me in this position and you're all against me ganging up. You're not my friends. I'm not going to stay in this situation. With these cards, the, the message is to keep a cool head and to try and understand what is going on. And if errors have been made, rather than being insulted and offended, <clears throat> the cards are saying it's much better to try and resolve any arguments. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm a little bit immature when it comes to things like that. If I have a group of friends and someone does listen to some faulty information or something is misconstrued or something, but if those friends then um, gang up on me and put me in a position of, of, hey, hang on a minute, or if I feel rejected or if I feel like I'm being ganged up on, Personally, I don't know about you, and you, you may be different. I won't, some of the time, it depends on how strong the friendships is, are, but if it's acquaintances and stuff, if people make those kind of assumptions and then accuse me without checking, checking the facts themselves, I wouldn't forgive that, even if it was like a trivial misunderstanding. Because if you um, show me 
that you're going to point fingers at me and accuse me and um, put me in a certain position because other people have told you and you don't even know if that's true, but you're willing to point your finger, then I've had enough. So that's kind of uh, interesting because you have to be careful sometimes with um, what you say and how you say it. Because some we all make mistakes and sometimes it's okay to um, apologize and to say, do you know what, I'm really sorry I misspoke here or I shouldn't have been so quick to jump to conclusions. I remember I made a mistake like this years ago. I remember I was in Oldham at work. I was working as a teacher and on Twitter, I was looking at it in the morning and in Twitter they... Um, were saying that a riot had started in Oldham, which is like a suburb of Manchester. And a ri I didn't realize this, but a riot had happened in that part of um, the city like years before. I wasn't aware of that. So I went to school and I had this one friend who I always spoke to. And I spoke to her in, in the staff room and I said, hey, on Twitter, someone said there's been like a an uprising or something. And she told loads of other people and the reaction was very odd because the place was, um, there was a lot of conflict in that area and I didn't live there, so I wasn't aware. But her saying it then to other people, it created a lot of like tension and people were gearing up to have conflict and to do all of these things. And then eventually it turned out that that tweet was false and it was a hoax. And I was like, wow, Greg, you better shut up before you start talking, check your facts. Don't wade into like a supercharged situation that you don't know anything about. Sometimes ignorance is not an excuse. You can't just say, oh, well, I don't know anything about Oldham when you've just um, delivered information which got people really frightened and upset and angry and all sorts of things. So that's what I think is a similar thing here. Be careful with the conclusions you jump to. They may be very faulty and then sometimes one you have to apologize if you're the person not behaving very well. And that's unpleasant in itself. But then sometimes the other person will say, thank you for the apology, but really that's not good enough. What you guys did is something that, um, I don't know, triggered like a lot of stuff from my childhood where I was abandoned and ganged up on and bullied. And I'm just not going to do this again. Thank you, but no thanks. So that's a big loss if you have a friendship. Okay, the three of summer, we've got the hummingbird. You have an exciting reason to celebrate, such as an engagement, wedding, graduation, or birth announcement. Remember to cherish those you love. Okay, so the card is saying that something fabulous is happening on this day. So make sure you connect with other people to enjoy that. Three of Autumn is practical expertise. Miniature Poodle Dog, your most satisfying and profitable career comes from following your passions, listening to your heart, and doing what brings you joy. Your life purpose is best fulfilled by allowing your talents and true self to shine forth out into the world. And that's something that you can discover with other people today. And that's the gift that by engaging with other people, you may be doing something that you hadn't been familiar with. Like they take you to the Chelsea Flower Show and you decide to put some flowers together and you make this most incredible bouquet. You never realized... You were like a florist or an artist when it comes to flowers. But because of this day out, you realize that. The downside is that the friendships can reveal other things or can create misunderstandings. And that's the part to avoid. So see what your friends and people close to you and doing stuff with them offers and try and minimize the um, negatives by paying attention, being careful about what you say, especially if it's a little bit borderline. You may want to keep that for another day if it's something, you know sensitive. The Eight of Winter says it's so easy to convince yourself that you're trapped when you really aren't. Trust that God will lift you to new heights and give you greater self-confidence if you affirm your freedom. Okay, so this little blurb here is talking about my reaction. You know, my reaction was someone made a mistake, they were mean to me, and I said, oh, I'm too hurt, I'll never speak to you again. The card is saying that that's the mistake. It's normal for people to misunderstand and to question your friendship at times. Don't be oversensitive like me and feel like, oh, they treated me badly. Now I'm trapped when really I'm not. So this card is saying don't take um, conflict or questioning or disagreements too seriously. Have faith in yourself. Have faith in your higher power and your friends that they mean well. And I think... Those situations, only you can decide that. But I'm saying cautiously, play it by ear. And I'm also kind of saying I'm wrong in this situation because I can be overly sensitive and sulk and dig my heels and say, you were mean, bye. <laughs> 
And by not reading into things like that and then withdrawing and being on, on an island saying, or in a cage saying, no one likes me, just because someone questioned something you did. So the, the question then today is, am I going to forgive dumb little things that people say to me or assume about me? Or am I going to get offended and throw away the good stuff with those friendships just because someone asked me something annoying? What would that be with me? Like if I met someone new and then we started talking um, about where we were from and background and stuff and it came out that I was German and if that person mentioned the word Hitler or World War II or something like that, I'd be like, forget it. <laughs> no. That would be enough for me to end the conversation and stop. So again, overly sensitive. Obviously, you know, that person... I've just said I'm German, so they may bring that up because it's normal and natural and that's what everyone does. They don't know that I've heard it about 10 million times and I don't want to hear it again. So it's my loss then if I say, I don't want a friendship with you because you said something I don't like. The cards are saying, give yourself a push, don't be so sulky <laughs> and enjoy other people and the good stuff that they can offer you. And don't read into the dumb little things people say. <laughs> wow, okay. Um, three and three is six and eight is 14. One and four is five and five is freedom. That's interesting because this approach means you'll have better freedom. I, I mean, more freedom in your life. And I was going to say better friendships or worse friendships. I don't know. I'm not an expert when it comes to friendships. The cards are saying here that on this day, it's important to let certain things slide. And also I feel it's a little bit of a prescription for friendships and the cards are saying that having these exalted standards in friendship isn't always conducive so check your own standards for what you expect from other people in your life what you will accept and what you can't accept and then on the flip side well how many friends do i want in my life do i want two or do i want 60 if you want 60, you're going to have to let a lot more stuff slide. If you only want two, you can be stringent in what you have to listen to and say, I don't like that. Bye. I don't know. Looking back on my experience, I found that if I wasn't always so extreme and didn't react so, so strongly, I could have, I could have um, rescued and saved a lot of situations. I could have saved myself a lot of grief and pain. Um, and what I... I suppose would have had to do is sometimes, you know, swallow my pride, I suppose. And that's, again, a personal choice. Ultimately, all these cards are really positive and lovely. Even the Eight of Swords, which is fundamentally a, a challenging card, with the Cage, same thing. But the whole atmosphere here is very summery and lovely. So I think there is the possibility to play and to enjoy the good things in life. It's just important to deliberately focus on those and to be willing to work with the negative stuff and not to blow it out of proportion. There we go. Okay, I hope you have a wonderful day. If you'd like a personal reading with me, please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. On the front page, click on book your reading to order your reading with me. And in my personal readings, I use astrology, the tarot and numerology. I combine all three. And um, by looking at these divination systems and using my intuition, I can really answer a lot of questions that you may have. If you're questioning your life purpose, your career, what's coming up in future, living situation, where to live, when a good time would be to move or to invest or savings or work, anything at all, family matters, please do get in touch with me for a personal reading. To draw up your astrology chart, I need your place of birth, date of birth and time of birth. If you don't have the time of birth, then order a chart rectification with me. That's a process where you send me 10 or more life events and I can work out your time of birth. And then once I have that, I can read the chart and give you that information. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please hit subscribe and share the video online. Have an amazing day and I'll speak to you tomorrow.